Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 16th of 2018. And I'm sort of in a daze. So much stuff in the last couple of days have happened that uh, I don't know where to begin. Uh Adobe, I, I used Adobe. Adobe had, came out, I don't know, a year or so ago or whatever, <clears throat> where for a small amount of money, you could access X number of their excellent programs that they put out online. So I paid, I think, $20 a year, and I could use the Adobe, which I really didn't use it, their Adobe video editor, which is an excellent program, but a little too complicated for me. I like to keep things simple. So I paid $20, and you could also, there was another, I think the photo editor or something, so for, uh, and you know, it's updated by them all the time, like I pay for video editors and other kind of editors, and once or twice a year, you know, I purchase not from Adobe, uh, from other companies, and they always come out with upgrades that they want thirty, forty, fifty dollars for to upgrade the program that I already have. Uh, so, so the Adobe deal seemed like a pretty good deal, except I really didn't use it. I paid twenty dollars a month, and I played for a few minutes with with. Uh, uh, I did very little with their video editor. Uh, the photo editor I really, you know, really like. But then there's a lot of good photo editors, and there's some that, uh, what, Polar, and what's the one that's uh, you, uh, you can use on Linux also. It's excellent for free. So uh, if I remember correctly, I finally, after months, I just decided, well, I'll just cancel and save $20 a month. And I, if I remember correctly... I think that's the company. I went there and I said, uh, you know, click to cancel. And they said, uh, this deal that you're signed up for, they didn't say it, you know, it's printed, that you signed up for, um, whoops, let me do this, since I'm just talking. The um, deal you signed up for, is for a year's time, and you have to keep it for a year. Or so, so I just canceled a month or so ago, and I thought I'm saving twenty dollars a month now. And the other day, Adobe came out with a new product that's in that cloud thing, Adobe Premiere Rush, and it's a simplified video editor. And it looks like it's aimed at YouTubers, people who just need to do some simple things and get their video. So I signed up, paid $10, downloaded, you do download a core thing or something. And uh, which I don't normally do the other day. Well, anyway, when I downloaded it, it... Uh, gave me a warning about my NVIDIA card. I forget what it said. And then there was a, then when I went, so I took some video clips and things that I had and I made a new video clip and I put them in there and I messed with the, and I actually messed with the uh, screen capture going and showing you all. Uh, how things were looking. And so I thought, well, okay, this is pretty good. And hey, I finally made a video where I put three or four clips together. I even put a title at the beginning of it, which was very easy to do. And uh, so then I went to uh, went to set it to render it. So, you know, it would be one file then that I could upload to YouTube. 
and it was, uh, I think, supposed to be, it said it would be 10 minutes to render it. Oh, my God. You know, I wasn't paying much attention. I was doing other things around here, and I saw it got, it was going really slow, and it got to like three minutes, and I thought it would be only three more minutes to go, and uh, I went, I think I got some cranberry, I went and got some cranberry juice, I think, and talked to the family a little bit, came back, and it was two minutes and 30 seconds or something. <laughs> I sat here for like two or three or five minutes, and it went to two minutes rendering, and then it crashed. And when it crashed, it wasn't Windows crashing, but it, it crashed. But I guess it had used up so much of my resources that I had to reboot. I couldn't pull up anything at all, so I had to reboot. Uh, so then I thought, okay, it must be, I remembered because, you know, Windows had just, I noticed when the when Windows, the new version of Windows was being installed, that they installed the driver for the video, and I had, I think it might have even said NVIDIA, and I thought, they don't usually, you know, so I thought, that's probably the problem. So I went to NVIDIA site, and, uh, you know, entered what my, you know, it, it actually runs, you know, checks and says, oh, okay, this is what you need for your uh, 750. What is it? Uh, 750 uh, NVIDIA card. And so it installed it, and then when I rebooted and everything, I couldn't get 1080p. It was, I forget what it was, 1160 by 700 or something. I tried everything. I tried for, I think, two hours. I tried different things. Reloaded the NVIDIA drivers or the one, and could not... So then I had some more trouble, so I just said, to hell with it. I formatted my hard drive again. I installed Windows, that's a little bit ago. I installed Windows again. I have Windows on here. I downloaded just, uh, as of right now, just the programs that I need. I have the uh, uh, 1080p screen. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, at some point, my 100 and, this is, I need the overhead light on. I can, I have pants on so I can stand up here. Uh, for some reason, at some point in here, my $170 Logitech, yes, they have a Logitech USB for, $170, the Brio or something like that, it stopped working. So I've moved it around now. I I haven't hooked it up yet to my Chrome box to see if it if it works because it it did work always with the Chrome. It's always worked. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, so that's a new little thing. But I, I don't think it's broke. But. Uh, Something's wrong because when I plug it, it might be the USB cable, but it shouldn't be. Because when I plug it into USB, it doesn't do the binging, you know. That, uh, so I, I'll have to check on that. Uh, today, in the video you're going to see, because when this little thing here ends, I'm going to splice these together, not using 
uh, Adobe Premiere Rush. Uh, I'm going to splice these together and you'll get a little bit. Uh, today I received, whoops, it has uh, facial recognition, works really well. I'm not used to it. Well, I just got it today. I'm not used to it. So, you know, I'm thinking I have to use, I have it set up also for fingerprint. I've got the little plastic case on the back that uh, they send you for free to protect it, but it uh, has a nice, nice little heft to it, you know, without the uh, plastic case. Um, so this is the um, Blue Evo 11 Plus. I had the Blue v Vivo uh, 10. And so all I had to do was just take out the uh, SD, micro SD card and my T-Mobile, put it in, and then I'd saved all the stuff. So it just asked me, you know, did I want to uh, install everything? I said yes. <laughs> it, it put 75 apps onto my uh, cell phone. Plenty of room because the... Uh, it has 6 gig of memory, it has 128 gig storage, and I put a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card in it and set it to you be used as extra memory. So, but anyway, it, it apparently installed every app that I owned or had used in the past. Uh, I didn't look to see what actually, but so um, I like it, and the best thing is uh, my son uh, in Florida, I had forgotten, he had mentioned a while back, uh, months ago, that, well, his, the phone that he purchased a long time ago was a $100 cell phone, and he ended up dropping it or whatever, and it shipped broke part of it. He was surprised it kept working. So I had forgotten that. And uh, so I contacted him and asked him, you know, did he want my old phone? He said, oh, yeah. So I've got the old phone boxed up and it's in mint condition. And everything in the box, you know, hasn't been. I never used the earbuds. They were still in the plant. I never used any, you know, anything. So it's like he's getting a brand new, you know, brand new phone. So that would be great for him, and then I can not feel so guilty for spending the money for this phone. But uh, the, I'm, I'm shocked about the facial recognition, how I'm surprised that when I just pick it up and I'm going to put my fingerprint or whatever, and it, it already recognizes me. Um, but I need to get, you know, get rid of some of these apps. I hate... Uh, The Facebook has a messenger thing, I believe it's Facebook, that they're trying to always force on you. And I found another one, Pulse, P-U-L-S-E. And it's not a pain in the ass. And because all I need, I don't want to text anybody. Um, I mean, maybe if a terrorist breaks in here and I can, maybe I'll text out to everybody, help terrorist, you know. I don't want to text anybody, but I am set up with security so that uh, if I log in to some site, some depending on the site, depending on the computer I'm using, if it's new or different IP or what, but you know, I, I get the the text. Well, with these others, the text would be the code they would send me, you know, to you know enter in, or sometimes it was just hit yes. But with the uh, Facebook Messenger thing or whatever it is, it's like a virus. And uh, there was all kinds of – the, the message would pop up there that I, I couldn't find it because it would be covered up by other crap. And uh, so anyway, um, I 
the uh, phone does not have, which I which I have, but I never use head earphones ever. Why would I use earphones on a? Now maybe you have a reason too. Uh, so there's no jack on this one, but it comes with, you know, the USB. You plug it into the USB port, and then you can plug your headphones in there. Uh, comes with a little instruction book. This is a, uh, I think a, uh, yeah, protective thing. I never use those. Uh, comes with a little guide to tell you how to put the chip, you know, in. Also comes with this, which a bunch of YouTube people who I've uh, reviewed this just rave about this cover. Yuck. That's on the box, by the way. Someplace. There it is. Uh, headphones, ear, you know, ear, not headphones, but earbuds, which I will never use. Never have. I could think of some reason, I guess. Uh, there was some program that in order to, uh, for the radio, FM radio that was built in, uh, you had to plug in headphones because that was the antenna. But I think that's it. Anyway, so I'm happy. Um, quick and easy communications. Skip. What I'll do next. If you want to change the, uh, yeah, I already did to, do you want to use messenger instead of pulse? No. Okay, that's not, uh, and I don't think you can, um, I think the messenger that's in here program, I don't think you can actually remove it. Uh, I think it's like part of Android, so. So let's see. Um, Saudi Arabia, say, Saudi official with ties to the Crown Prince oversaw the, they didn't oversee the interrogation, they oversaw the murder, you know. They're trying to act like, you know, well, we were just, we were just interrogating him and uh, he must have, they're not saying this, I'm just, you know, he must have had a bad heart. Yeah, you tend to have a bad heart when they use a bone saw on you, you know. I don't know what to do. It's all over my uh, all over my head. A pay grade above me. I have a mega millions ticket. It's five hundred and sixty one million, I believe. I have a ticket. I see there's a winner. I haven't checked my ticket. I might be wasting my time talking to you people. I might be a multi-millionaire. I'm sure, though, they've announced on the news, and probably they announced where the ticket was sold. If the ticket was sold in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, actually, I didn't buy the ticket. A friend of mine in Kansas City, Missouri, sent me the ticket. So, so if they announce Kansas City, Missouri, nobody would know to call me. Um, I, I guess the Connor show must have. Uh, it was it. Is it played, or is this as how the Connors deal? dealt with the uh, departure, what Roseanne's reaction is to the character's exit. So, uh, 
um, recover the Adobe. My revenue <laughs> has been increasing slightly. I guess that's because your people are watching the videos. Uh, up to $38 over the last 28 days. The watch time minutes are up 62%. Views are up 26%. The average viewer duration, duration, that's how long you watch the average, you know. And usually uh, these numbers for people, for YouTubers, usually they're very short. People tune into a, unless maybe a cute cat, you know. Uh, you, uh, but seven minutes, that's pretty good, actually. You know what I was going to do? I was going to reply to a question. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section, and I will reply to it. But I think this video is going to be kind of long because I'm going to splice, going to play with the video editor, splice these things together. Because I did that the other day and it got messed up and lost and whatever. So I'm going to probably mess these up again and lose the video or whatever. So I do thank you for, but don't touch the mouse because there's more video coming. Thank you very much for watching and a, in the next video I will answer a question that I got. And actually, the question that was asked was very good. And it actually, there'll be, out of that one question, there'll be two or three things that I can talk about. So stick around. Oh, I'm, I'm wondering, maybe I should just use my Panasonic G7 camera and then take that video and put it in here. But then what am I going to do about desktop recording? No, I don't know. This is, uh, this is, I don't even know what day this is. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still running Chrome here. Tuesday, October 9th. I'm still running Chrome. It's uh, 10 45 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking just install Windows 10. And instead of installing everything, just install what I need to make these YouTube videos. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to. And doesn't, I'll just install something else, something else, something else, like back to the same situation. Screencast here does, or not cast, but is it here? Well, you can't see it now because I'm doing it. Uh, Screencast O Matic works. And I'm using Clip Champ Create. And I remember signing up for this before. And they have a ton of video clips that you can use, but they also have an editor. Uh, but I, I, you know, I think what they want you to do is use their clips. Well, they want you to pay a membership. But I think I can add this video clip on to this, and then export this video. C 
see what it uh, what it looks like. They're not going to let you just do it in this way. They're going to want you to, at some point, be using their clips, which I'm not interested in. You know, make it using their clip is, and you pay a fee for that to make people to use it. Uh, I think the type of videos I make, I think it's important that I have. my video and you see what I'm looking at, you know, the recording my screen is the important thing. And I have paid for a bunch of software for Windows. God, I just hate to. Maybe I should go back, uh, unhook the Chrome box and hook back up the Mint, Cinnamon Mint. I think I can find the software there to do what I want to do. So, so this has been a test. Uh, what do I want to update you on? Um, just been updating you on the struggles going on here, trying to figure out what to do. I'm thinking also maybe what I should do is. get another desk. I have all the equipment for having up, I can set up two or three computers at the same time. Maybe get another desk or tabletop in here. And I have a couple chairs, extra chairs. So I had up, have Linux running on this computer. Have the Chrome box running over there. Move back and forth. But it's a shame not to use this uh, Panasonic G7 camera. Anyway, I'm still trying to figure out what to do. And I'm still thinking at the end of this month, maybe I can afford to get a uh, Apple iPad, $325 one. If I can't afford the the next step up, six hundred or whatever that one. If I could afford that one, I think I could do everything on the iPad. That would be nice. Do everything on the iPad. I guess I I can uh, see what I can do with the junior model of the iPad at the end of the month. See how much I can do on that and then export what I do to Chrome or to, uh, or just upload it. Well, I hate using a cell phone. Maybe I should just be using 